Hey beautiful people of God, so I just want to answer one of my subscribers. They asked where can you get the book of Doctrine and Covenants. You can read it online, just like um, in the King James Bible on online.org. You can read the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Apocrypha. So if we go, like we put in safety, it'll give you all the scriptures in the Old Testament and the New Testament of safety, right? And also in the Apocrypha, if you want to go to Apocrypha only, then you'll hear about safety and the Apocrypha only, which will have the books of the Maccabee, Tobit, 2 Ezra, the first book of Ezra, the second book of Ezra, the wisdom of Solomon. For they shall see the end of the wise and shall not understand what God in his counsel has decreed of him and to what end the Lord has set him in safety. Remember I told you judgments fall on good, whether good or bad, but some people are taken away in the time because God wants them near him. He saved them. So not all death of the righteous is it's just how he wrote them to die so he can bring them to them quicker. So I just want to go. We're going to get to um, where you can get Doctrine and Covenants. If you don't have the book and you want to read it, where you can read it for free online quickly. So this is where you can read the Apocrypha. And if you want to buy the Apocrypha, it's this red book here for ten seventy nine. They sell it on Amazon. Or if you have a Kindle, it's $0.90. Cents. All right, so this is um, the Apocrypha. It's not in the whole King James Bible, but if you have the 1611 King James Version of the Bible, the Apocrypha books are in there. Remember, they took out a lot of books out of the Bible, you know? So here you can read the doc Doctrine and Covenants on Church of J, J you know, J.C. Christ. Dot org. So if you could see that, church of him, jcchrist.org, jesuschrist.org, right? But um, doctrine and covenants. So you can, in this site, it's just like the apocrypha, the, um, the King James Bible online org, how it has the Old Testament, New Testament, and apocrypha only. But here it has the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Book of Mormon, Doctrine and Covenants, the great, the pearl of great price. That's the books of Jacob and Moses, right? So I just want to get it, read something. I put the power of Satan. Why Satan doesn't want you to read Doctrine and Covenants, and he doesn't want you to read the pearl of great price, the books of Moses and the book of Jacob, Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. Why? Because it has a lot of scriptures to deliver you. Behold, that was called and chosen to write the Book of Mormon. And to my ministry, I have lifted thee up out of thy afflictions. And have counseled thee that thou hast been delivered from all thy enemies. And thou hast been delivered from the powers of Satan and from darkness. So you can use this scripture and say, Father, please deliver me from the powers of Satan and from darkness. He doesn't like these books. And okay, there's just a lot deliverance prayers. There's just a lot of deliverance scriptures in that book. And it talks a lot of things. If we put in chains right now, now Pearl of the Great Price, Moses says, and there came generations upon generations and Enoch was high and lifted up even in the bosom of the father and of the son of man. And behold, the power of Satan was upon all the face of the earth. You need to read these books because what's what did Satan do? Whereby, wherefore, because that Satan rebelled against me, God's talking to Moses, and sought to destroy the agency of man, which I, the Lord God, have given him, and also that I should give him unto him my own power by the power of my only begotten son. I caused that he should be cast down. So these books Satan doesn't want people to read, but you can read them for free. So if you're on this site, you can read Old Testament, the New Testament, and let's put in chains. Let's put in the word chain and you'll see why that devil Satan doesn't want you to read it. Moses 7 and 26. And he beheld Satan and he had a great chain in his hand and it veiled the whole face of the earth with darkness. And he looked upon 
looked up and laughed and his angels rejoice. Now, if you read the Book of Mormon, it talks about the chains, how God delivers you from the chains of captivity and yokes, if you read yokes as well. And behold, I say unto you, all that this was a snare of the adversary, Satan, which he has laid to catch this people, that he might bring you into subjection unto him, that he might encircle you about with his chains, that he might chain you down to everlasting destruction according to the power of his captivity. Right? Now, 2 Nephi 28 and 19, for the kingdom of the devil must shake, and they which belong to it must needs to be stirred up unto repentance, or the devil will grasp them with his everlasting chains, and they be stirred up to anger and perish. Now, in 2 Nephi 1 and 3, it says, Oh, that you should awake, awake from a deep sleep, because people have been asleep. That's why it says awake. Yeah, even from the sleep of hell, and shake off the, the awful chains by which you are bound, which are the chains which bind the children of men, that they are carried away captive down to the eternal gulf of ministry, misery and woe. Now, it talks about you being in, in Alma 5 and 7, what God does. Behold, he changed their hearts, yeah? He awakened them out of deep sleep. You can use these words, for, these scriptures for deliverance. That's why Satan has like um, Jehovah's Witness, Christians, this sect and that denomination when they just need to be reading the word of God to get deliverance and repentance. They don't need to be calling themselves any of that, but children of God. It happened in old times when the two kingdoms split. It's still happening today, just in a different way. Behold, they were in the midst of darkness. Nevertheless, their souls were emulated by the light of the everlasting word. The everlasting word, the truth shall make you free. Yeah, they were encircled about with bands of death and the chains of hell. And an everlasting destruction did await them. But guess what? If you read Alma 36 and 18, it tells you how Christ, God delivers you from that. And now as my mind caught hold upon this thought, I cried within my heart, O oh, Christ, thou son of God, have mercy upon me, who I am in the gal of bitterness and encircled about by everlasting chains of death. It talks about breaking out. Yeah, we have reason to praise him forever for he is the most high God. So he is the most high God and has loosed our brethren from the chains of hell. So Satan doesn't want you to know about the chains of death, the chains of hell, the chains of destruction. And he doesn't want you to know the scriptures where God can deliver you from them. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. Yeah, they have reason to praise him forever for he is the most high God and has loosed our brethren from the chains of hell. And now it talks more about the chains of hell. This is why Satan hates these books. Oh, my beloved brethren, turn away from your sins. Shake off the chains of him that would bind you fast. Come on to that God who is the rock of your salvation. Now, if we go to Doctrine and Covenants, it talks about chains of death, right? While this vast multitude waited and conversed, rejoicing in the hour of their deliverance from the chains of death. You see, it doesn't talk all about that in the New Testament and the Old Testament because there's other books. All right. It talks about chains, um, the angels being reserved in chains, chains of darkness by God. But it also tells you that's in 2 Peter 2 and 4. But it also talks more in um, Doctrine and Covenants about chains. And he doesn't want you to know about breaking the yoke of bondage, breaking the yoke of um, captivity. A lot of this are in these books, Deliverance Scriptures. And you break the chains of death. Now, in doc remember it says, if we go here in 2 Corinthians 13 and 1, This is the third time I am coming to you in the mouth of two or three witnesses, shall every word be established. So God will send two or three witnesses with the same word. So you know it's from him. Now in two Peters, two and four, it tells you about the angels who disobeyed God and they either in chains. Now in Doctrine and Covenants, 
38 and 5. But behold, the residue of the wicked have I kept in chains of darkness until the judgment of the great day, which shall come at the end of the earth. It's also in Jude. So who wrote it in Doctrine and Covenants? Jude and Peter. That's three witnesses telling you the same thing. Now here it tells you how wicked this the what the wicked do to you. It is an iron yoke. In in the Bible in in the um Old Testament it talks about yokes of iron. It is a strong band. It talks about God loosing you from bands. They are the very handcuffs, fetters, and chains and shackles and fetters of hell. So it tells you more. You can you have to ask God to break handcuffs, chains, shackles, and fetters of hell off of you. And break yoke, evil yoke. So if you go here, um, the yoke of bondage, you can break the yoke of bondage off of you. And there is a lot of different scriptures in it. This in in, in Doctrine and Covenants 109 and 13, Therefore we plead before thee for a full and complete deliverance from under this yoke. And it talks about breaking the yoke of bondage off of the house of David. That's a yoke of bondage. You can use that as well. This is, and break it off, O Lord, break it off of the necks of thy people by thy power that me may rise up in the midst of this generation and do thy will. Now, if we go down here, it talks about the yoke of affliction. It, and it says, from the lands of their inheritance, break off, O Lord, the yoke of affliction that has been put upon them. Thou knows, O Lord, that they have been greatly oppressed and afflicted by wicked men. So you can use this scripture to break off the yoke of affliction off of you. Now, it talks about in David, the yoke of bondage. So this is different yokes. And the yoke of bondage may be, begin to be broken off of the house of David. And the children of Judah may begin to return to the lands which thou did give Abraham and to their father. So these are why... They have people arguing over scriptures when they need to be reading it as God's children and not on this domination and on that. Now, the yokes of iron, the yoke of bondage, it talks about these things, the yoke of his burden. Now, this is also in the book of Isaiah. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden and the staff off of his shoulders, the rod of his oppressor. So if we even go... Remember with two or three witnesses, God will establish his word. Now, if we, Isaiah, the yoke from off his neck, the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. But I'm looking for another scripture of Isaiah. He says the same, Nephi says the same thing as Isaiah. God comes to, confirms his word. And even Nahum 1 and 13, for now I will break his yoke from off thee and will burst thy bonds in sonder. Didn't it say um, these are strong bonds? This is it right here. For thou has broken the yoke of his burden and the staff off of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor in the day of, as in the day of Midian. So, um, um, yeah. Nephi says the same thing in the Book of Mormon. So people who say they don't read the Book of Mormon because they're not a Mormon, just because people put their names, their titles on things doesn't mean that is what it is. For thou has broken the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor. Where, what? This is the third time I am coming to you in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. So you can buy um, the Apocrypha for ten seventy nine, and you can buy Doctrine and Covenants for twelve seventy seven, right? Or you can buy the Book of Mormon that has these three books in it. It has I don't have the Book of Mormon. I have the, the of Doctrine and Covenants, but the Book of Mormon, um, some of them are carry Doctrine and Covenants and pearl of great the pearl of great price or you can even just buy these books separately doctrine and covenants and the pearl of great price all right um stay blessed may the most high keep you and lead you into all truth stay blessed and stay encouraged and keep fasting